Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing a 2020 Topps Sterling Baseball two box break. Number three, we'll be doing number two following this. It sold out before number two did. So this is gonna be number three. We have six boxes left from the original case of eight that we're gonna randomize. You can see here we've got boxes paired up one, paired up three, and paired up four. We're gonna randomize which two boxes we're gonna do. But in the meantime, we're gonna randomize uh, the hits. So, thanks to everybody involved. So we're going to roll a dice here to figure out which boxes we're going to open up. For pairing one, it's going to be one, two. For pairing three, it's going to be three, four. And for pairing four, it's going to be rolled five or six. So good luck, everyone. And it's right under the camera. And that is a three. So it looks like we're going boxes numbered three in the middle. So, Sterling 2 will be after this, and we'll be picking from those remaining four boxes. Uh, Sterling 4, I believe, is in the store right now, guys. I do not believe it is sold out. I think there is a filler for it. There is. So, we'll be doing threes. One spot straight up, and then another blaster break. There you go. So we've got auto relic cards numbered to 25 or less, or unique one of one relics in here. Two cards per box. Oh, it's a random hit. Yeah. Yep. So I'm just going to randomize the names of everybody at the end. Show them the hits first. Mm hmm. Awesome looking stuff. Is there a cover here? There is. Look at the look at the packaging on this. So this one apparently is the Fielding Awards winner, and then this one here is the 500 Home Run Club. Let's see. The chat's talking about best menu items at Taco Bell. That are get canceled? Uh, well, it's discontinued. It's the Choco Taco. I've never had that. It was incredible. I only get regular hard shell tacos at Taco Bell. Boxes are tight. No. My small delicate hands. Oh no! If my big fingers don't. My God. Okay, I'm ripping this off. Yeah, maybe just have to be like the Hulk. And Top's coming off. Whoa! What happens? Jaspie's after dark. Wow. Some boxes too, huh? Some serious stuff here, guys. Looks like it's going this way. It is. Ooh. Ooh. Yelich? That's Christian Yelich. Wow. Sterling Seasons 2018 Christian Yelich Dual Relic and Auto. Numbered 13 out of 25. Wow. Sharp. Nice on-card auto. That looks incredible. Look. Wow. Can we take a look at the back of it? You want to risk that? Yeah. Let's do it. Careful. Just to see. Oh, nice. Got some little good, good copy on the back. Nice. We should uh, top load these and send them that way. Not this, right? Might rattle around. Yeah. yeah. You're going to protect it. So we'll top load these things for you guys. Protect them for the conditions. Very nice hit there. Probably 180s, maybe. 
maybe even probably 130 actually. Try try this. That's a 180. Or we can just blue tape it. Yeah. Relevant to it's blue tape that. Okay. Uh, next up, 500 Home Run Club. I heard, who do we say? Ken Griffey. I heard people say Poppy, A Rod. Yeah, I guess Babe Ruth is also in that, right? Um, it does say unique one of one relics. Autograph relic cards numbered to 25 or less, or unique one of one relics. James is saying Barry. David saying Hank Aaron. Let's see. I think. Do I have it the right way? Maybe. Let's find out. Oh, somebody called it. Alex Rodriguez, Ooh. dual relic auto, with the little bit of the pinstripe on the left hand side there. Nice, not bad. Numbered fifteen of fifteen. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Future uh, owner of the Mets, maybe, yeah. or part part, part owner of the Mets. Group, yeah. I still think uh, what's his name buys it out, but. Oh, I like that vertical look. It right looks there. really nice, That's huh? sharp, yeah. The cool part is, too, guys, this is also sunken into the card, so you have, like, different layers on there. It looks really nice. Box one. Brandon likes that? Rex called it. He did. Scroll up in the chat. Rex is, a. Uh, he knows, he can see through the boxes, guys. Rex, what are your picks for this box? So, what are these ones? Silver Slugger Award winners and 1970s MLB All-Stars. Okay, so let's go. Hmm, let's go Silver Sluggers first. Hold the 1970s All Stars. Silver Slugger, Juan Gonzalez, Rex says. Altuve, Adam saying. Ortiz. Miggy from Vanilla. Let's see. Looks like another vertical. Or no. I don't know. We'll find out. Benito Santiago. All Stars. Rod Carew. Rex. Okay. Getting ahead of us. And it's, somebody guessed Altuve, but teammate, George Springer. That's numbered five of five. Quad relics there. One, two, three, four, five colors. Really nice looking card. Joe will, receive, will uh, reserve his opinion. The card is nice. <laughs> Austin Barnes Granny right here. 2-0, two, two and oh, the count. Bottom of the seventh, bases loaded, Austin Barnes Granny. I'm sorry, I don't see Howie Kendrick at the plate in Dodger Stadium. Hey, 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 no. Come on. Very nice. Awesome looking card. James is saying ground into a double play even with two outs. Uh, the old 
old, the old grounder to short. And now, 1970s MLB All-Stars. Joe, any guesses? 1970s MLB All-Stars? Yep. So, Autograph? Adams is saying, Adams saying uh, Gaylord. Rex earlier said Juan Rod, Marichal. Rod Carew. Juan Marichal. Um, Nolan Ryan right for second. That Steve. Would've, that would have been a double play ball. Whoever said that got it right. Who was it? Oh, James. James. All right, there you go, James. Maybe Burt Blylevin. So, Paul's also going Rod Carew. Steve Bryce is going Carlton Will Clark. Movie. Ooh, Reggie Jackson. What about Reggie Jackson? Paul, you just going to name all 1970s All-Stars? You get one one guess. Reggie Jackson. Yeah, just one guess. Can't. I'm going to say it goes this way. It might be upside down. I would have taken out, taken out Dubon's legs. Get out of there. Upside down, nobody guessed it. Part of the dual dynamics auto we just had, Mike Schmidt, dual bat relic for the Phillies, nine of twenty-five. Sterling seasons, nineteen eighty. Awesome looking card. Great sorry, I was pregnant in the game. Who was it? Mike Schmidt. Oh, Schmitty, nice. Good old Schmidt. Dual bat relic. What, what a what a what, what a home runs with that bat. Highlighting his 1980 season. Interesting that it's 1970s All Star auto, and it's a 1980 season. I'm sure it was an All Star in 1979. <laughs> so those are the four hits, guys. We're gonna pause the uh, recording, put them in a randomizer with the four participants in this break. And match them all up. Monty's going to go yard right here. Granny. Welcome back, everyone. We've got the list of customers from Josh down to Christian. Christian with last spot mojo. And the list of hits in order of how they were pulled. Christian Yelich down to Mike Schmidt. We're going to do a randomizer. Roll dice. And we're doing it 10 times, four and a six. Good luck, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time from Christian down to Josh Proust. Add that into the spreadsheet here. Now, Ten times on the hits. Good luck, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth and final time. Good luck. From George down to Christian Yelich. I don't think it moved at all in that last randomizer. So, Christian Fitch with the George Springer, 5 of 5. Paul Chung with the Mike Schmidt, 9 out of 25. Michael Tanzillo with the Alex Rodriguez, 13 out of 15. Or, sorry, 15 out of 15. And Josh Proust with the Christian Yelich, 13 out of 25. Congrats, everyone. Christian Yelich going to Josh Proust. Alex Rodriguez. Going to Michael Tanzillo. George Springer. That's going to Christian Fitch. And Mike Schmidt going to Paul Chung. Congrats, everyone. Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Bowman. Uh, sorry, Tops Sterling 2020. Random hit number three. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Take a look.